Hello, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode. And this time I'm uh, doing this episode pretty early in the morning again. I think everyone's asleep except one of my youngest kids, enjoying a nice cup of coffee. I'm also eating some apple pie for breakfast. Uh, don't tell my wife. She had a book club yesterday and there's all sorts of great desserts lying around. Got to take advantage of those when you can. Well, sometimes you take advantage of them too much, right? Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about a program called eyeglasses, like the letter I in glasses. And what this program does is it allows you to control some of the parameters of your eye cam or your external webcam. Now, I've been using a Mac for a couple of years now, but prior to that I used a Windows computer like a lot of people. And when I came to the Mac, I was surprised to find that there really was no way to control things like brightness or white balance. That was all built in. And most of the time the Mac does a fine job adjusting those parameters, but sometimes I personally would like to tweak them a little bit more. And if you're used to doing that, and you can't do that, you kind of think, oh gee, I wish I could do that. Well, eyeglasses allows you to do that, and I'm going to show you that program right now. Okay, we're now using Photo Booth just to demonstrate the software. So if you can select a camera in any of your software, as you can in Photo Booth, this is going to appear as eyeglasses, but it's really my Logitech camera that I'm um, really using. But it goes through the eyeglasses software. So I'm selecting that and you can see right away that I have this panel here where I can adjust many things like exposure, white balance, tint, contrast, gamma, sharpness even. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Etc and you have some presets and you can actually save settings so this would be going back to standard if I wanted to make it sepia for instance I could do that or crazy colors ooh that is crazy I could do that let's go back to standard you also have some effects these effects really just appear to be the same effects that you normally would see or at least mostly in um, just photo booth but I guess the advantage is you could use them in other software so let's say I wanted to do blue Oh, that's kind of weird. Or neon, I could do that. And here again, I don't really, I don't know what the advantage of these are. Just maybe for a little fun. And you also can do things like zoom. So, for instance, and mirror. So if I wanted to zoom, I could zoom onto a particular area, and I can then move that area around like that. And that's pretty cool too. So you have those adjustments. Again, those would be pretty common on a Windows type. Um, webcam, but you can't really do that within um, Mac with Mac software typically. The other thing that I really like about it is, and if I can get this running, uh, it's not down on my, it's not down on my uh, dock down here. Oh, here we go. When you're looking for something, you can never find it. That's the problem. If I open up iMovie. you can actually see that if I now import from camera I can actually do it so in the past the only cameras that would work were firewire cameras um, but this allows you to use a regular USB webcam in programs like iMovie too so that's pretty cool so let's back out of here and we're going to back out of here and we're back over here. So anyways, there you have it. There's a demonstration of eyeglasses. Where do you find it? Just type I, like the letter I in glasses, and then for Mac, and it'll take you to the website. I think the website is called ecam, e -C -A -M -M .com. Um I think it's it's worth the $19. I'd like to see it at $9.95. That'd be a better value, but hey, what are you going to do? Well, that's my review on eyeglasses. Uh, down points, probably the uh, two most significant. One, it costs about 20 bucks. That's not a lot, and I certainly do know that those uh, folks that designed the program deserve to make a living. 
But let's face it, if you bought a Windows camera and ran it on Windows, what would happen is you could even get a camera plus all that software for about 20 bucks if you bought an inexpensive camera. The other problem that I had with eyeglasses is that it's only VGA. So even if your camera is capable of producing, oh, I have a cat that just jumped to be side tail, jumped to my lap. If it's a, even if your camera is most are capable of producing a higher definition picture, you're not going to be able to do that with eyeglasses. And eyeglasses uh, simply adjust those parameters that I told you about. It doesn't have other types of programs, for instance, to do capture, um, like photo capture or movie capture and that sort of thing. Now, I know you can do that, of course, within within the Mac software itself, but sometimes it's nice to have accessory software because it opens up additional dimensions to your camera. So uh, with that, I'd say uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you have some time, please give my podcast a listen. It's totally free. It's on iTunes. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. Completely different format. Have a nice day.